Greetings, viewers of Team APS. It is I, Marek Ishtar. I finally arrived in Battle City to find my rare hunters and gather the many rare and powerful cards they have collected for me. But first, I want to thank you all for watching the Rare Hunters series. I've been watching from the shadows, and I'm very pleased with the enthusiasm and support from you all. And if I wasn't, <laughs> Well, I might have to use my Millennium Rod. Seeing the boxes opened and watching the duels has been very entertaining indeed. But without further ado, we still have one final episode. Let the hunt begin! <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm going to be the first one to open up, and uh, this time I think I'm going to actually go with the left side of the box, because by popular request, um, from people in the comments. Apparently that is the side that maybe we'll have the better cars, or at least I usually go for the right side, so uh, we'll see, right? So we're starting off with Centrifugal Field, Chusuke the Mouse Fighter, Whirlwind Prodigy, Elemental Burst, Swords of Concealing Light, The Dark Hex Sealed Fusion, Kangaroo Champ, Threatening Roar, and Pole Position, a card known for many, many uh, infinite loops. Arm Samurai Benkei, so you can actually equip him with equip spells and he'll get additional attacks. That's pretty cool. Ooh, first foil card and it's a ultimate rare, Brain Jacker. So you flip and equip it to a monster on your opponent's side of the field and treat it as an equip card. You take control of that monster and increase your opponent's life points by 500 during each of their standby phases. Nice though, ultimate rare. And first edition because the box is first edition. Element Valkyrie, Refusion, pay 100 life points. Select a fusion monster in your grave and summon it to your side of the field. Rescue Cat, wow, I didn't know that Rescue Cat came out this early. This card went on to later make a really big impact in the game, actually. And Behemoth, the King of All Animals, super rare. So it can be normal summoner set with one tribute, but its attack will only be 2,000. If it's tribute summoned successfully, you can return from your graveyard to the owner's hand a number of beast type monsters equal to the number of tributed monsters. You could technically work with Rescue Cat if you wanted. Hand of Nephthys, Blade Rabbit, what's this do? When it's changed to attack position, you destroy an opponent's monster. Firebird. Insect Knight. Okay, so this one's 1900. That's always a good attack point value to have. Fulfillment of the Contract. Summons a ritual monster from your graves. Kind of like Refusion. Majigiri Panda. Another Beast Support. Abari Ushioni. Brain Jacker as a rare, as opposed to the beautiful ultimate rare. Let me see if that focus on that. Yeah. One's a rare, one's an ulti. Which do you like more? I like that they can come in different varieties. I think that's really cool. The Big March of Animals, Element Doom, Golem Sentry, and Didi Dynamite. Arm Samurai Benkei, Fulfillment of the Contract, Flame Ruler. <gasps> Ooh, super rare Deck Devastation Virus. Tribute a Dark Monster with 2,000 attack points or more. Check all your opponent's monsters in their hand, field, and what they draw in the next three turns and destroy everything with an attack of 1,500 or less. Kind of the opposite of Crush Guard Virus. Super rare though. Insect Knight, fulfillment of the contract. Majra Giri Panda, upside down rescue cat. I thought that might have been a sign, but apparently not. Um, our rare is Shadow Slayer. It's familiar from a recent video. It can attack as long as all your opponent's monsters are in defense position. It can hit them directly. Dark Hex, Threatening Roar, Space Mambo, and Mechadog Marin. These three foil cards, they're all very pretty. And I suppose my Brain Jacker is gonna be on the line in this duel, that'll be my final rare card. All right guys, I'm opening up my side of Flames of Eternity. Let's get some good luck and bring it home for Master Merrick. We have Good Goblin Housekeeping, Rescue Cat, Refusion, Element Valkyrie, Big Tusk Mammoth, DD Dynamite, Hand of Nephthys, Golem Century, and Blade Rabbit. Oh, we got beast stuff in here? All right, all right. And a new element monster. I don't know if I'll make use of it, but uh, I always like to see new element monsters. Hey, Fulfillment of the Contract, Flame Ruler, Insect Knight, 1900 attack. Uh, ooh, Ultimate Rare, Assault on GHQ. Select one monster, you can see that, yeah. Select one monster on your side of the field to activate this card, destroy the selected card, and send two cards from the top of your opponent's deck to the graveyard. So you're milling. I might, I mean, I guess I, if I wager it, I have to use it, so we'll see. We have Divine Dragon Ragnarok, the Earth Hex Sealed Fusion, Pole Position, and Kangaroo Champ. The Light Hex Sealed Fusion, and Blast Magician, super rare. This actually, I've never actually seen the super rare version of this card. This feels like history, I don't know. 
That's cool, that's cool. Chusuke the Mouse Fighter, Good Goblin Housekeeping, Hyena, Armed Samurai. Ooh, Ultra Rare Silent Swordsman Level 5. Ooh, that's pretty. That is nice. That's nice. Elemental Burst, Element Valkyrie, Beast Soul Swap, Refusion, Lightning Vortex as a super rare. Discard one card, then destroy all face-up monsters your opponent controls. So, that's sick. Catnipped Kitty, Dark Hex Sealed, Catnip Kitty. I had two catnipped kitties in one pack. I've never, huh, interesting. But Lightning Vortex though. We have the Light Hex Seal Fusion, Centrifugal Field, Insect Knight, Fulfillment of Contract, Cross Counter, Poison Fangs, DD Dynamite, Hand of Nephthys, and Golem Century. Yeah, so these are my pulls. We got the Ultimate Rare, Assault on GHQ, Lightning Vortex, Silent Swords on level five, and Blast Magician. All right, so here's my final deck for Rare Hunters. It's pretty much just a back to basics, but with a few interesting twists that you guys might have noticed. So first and foremost, I am going in on the tribute summon strategy. I wanted to make sure that I actually have useful, strong tribute monsters like Arm Dragon, like Jinzo, and I plan to tribute summon them quite aggressively if I can. I also went with more of an earth package since I got Gigantes. I figured using Legendary Jujutsu Master, Berserk Gorilla, and other earth monsters would actually let me have a little bit of offense. I actually got that idea from Alec running Spirit of Flames. I still got my Spellcaster sort of package with Apprentice Magician, Magical Scientist, Magician of Faith, Old Vindictive. Added in this Mask of Darkness to recover a few trap cards. Gotta run Brainjacker, of course. And other than that, this is pretty much the same deck that you're used to. Um, there's Chaos Sorcerer in there to hopefully pull out uh, an emergency win. And even though I lost my ultimate rare Dark Blade, the Dragon Knight, in the last episode, I did pull a rare one, so I was able to replace it. All right, we're gonna see how this goes. All right, guys, I'm back with the fire deck for this final episode of Rare Hunters. So I have Mass Dragon, who can search out the Element Dragon, and I thought, hmm, Element Dragon's light. Maybe I can fit a Chaos package into this deck. The only downside is I couldn't really search the dark monsters, but I did get four, so hopefully I can summon my Black Lesser Soldier and Chaos Sorcerer, you know, in addition to playing Horus of Black Flame Dragon level six and eight. Let's see how it goes. Hey guys, so this video is sponsored by Ridge Wallets. I've actually used a Ridge Wallet for a very long time. They're slim, they're sleek, there's lots of different designs. What you might not know actually is that they're celebrating their 10 year anniversary. You guys can actually go to ridge.com slash APS, the link's down in the description, and get up to 40% off all kinds of things. One of my favorite things about this wallet is just how small and sleek it is. You can hold up to 12 cards inside, and there even is a cash strap. You can tell I've had it for a long time because it's finally started to take on a bit of wear, but these things are actually super durable too. They even have RFID protection. They actually have a lot of different other accessories as well. Things like, you know, a key case. You can get it and store all your keys and they're not loud. Head on over to ridge.com slash APS. You can get up to 40% off on things on their site. Thanks again to them for sponsoring this video. I wager. Jinzo, Dark Magician Girl, and Brain Jacker. I wager, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, Monster Reincarnation, and Assault on GHQ. All right, we'll start this duel out by setting one card face down and another card face down. Your move. Running scared, Hunter. I don't know about that. It's only the first turn. Draw. There's nothing to be afraid of with you. There's always reason to be afraid. But I'll keep it simple. I'll also set a monster face down and set two cards face down. Two cards, you say? I'll end my turn. I draw, Hunter. All right, I will. Flip summon my old vindictive magician and destroy mm. your face down monster. You Destroys hit. a monster in the field. UFO turtle. Excellent. That's great because that means I can now tribute my old vindictive magician to summon Chaos Command Magician to the field in attack mode. Ooh. Negate the effects of monsters that target it with their effects. Is his summon okay, Hunter? It is fine. Great, that means I'm going to enter the battle phase. Chaos Command Magician will attack you directly for 2400. I'll activate Call of the Haunted. Ooh, not pleasant at all. I will special my UFO turtle back to the field. Mm, I don't know if I like that. I will not attack the UFO <laughs> turtle. Instead, I'll go to main phase two and activate this. My Ikibio Drachmord on your UFO turtle. This means it won't be able to attack and after two turns, it'll be destroyed and this will return to my hand. Your move. 
All right. Draw. Switch my turtle to defensive mode, and I'll end my turn. Good. I'll draw another card. I'll normal summon Gemini Elf in attack mode, and I'll end my turn. All right. Draw. Set a monster face down, and I'll end my turn. Good. That means Ikibai Dragmore destroys UFO turtle and call the haunted in the process Goodbye. and returns to my hand. Now I'll draw for my turn. Time to enter the battle phase, Hunter. Gemini Elf, attack your face down monster. <laughs> I activate Mirror Force. Okay, figures. I'll destroy both your monsters. Maybe I should be running my body as a shield. They're both destroyed, you got a lucky break. In that case, I'll have to end my turn. All right, draw for turn. I'll activate my terraforming. Okay. I can add a field spell to my hand. Field spell card. I'll get molten, molten destruction. destruction. Had a feeling when I saw a UFO turtle in your deck. Now I'll activate my molten destruction and reveal Solar Flare Dragon. My dragon gains 500 attack underneath my new field spell, so it has 2,000. And then I'll normal summon Solar Flare Dragon. Oh, the Solar Flare Lock. I don't think I like it, so I'm going to activate Bottomless Trap Hole on your second Solar Flare Dragon. Ooh, that destroys my monster. It will be destroyed. But if I pay 1,500 life points, my Bizer Shield will protect it. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Too bad I, can, I can't just outright kill you here. Wouldn't it be great? Oh, wait. I can. Hmm. I'll banish my UFO turtle from my graveyard to special summon Spirit of Flame. I'll enter battle. My Spirit of Flames gains an extra 200, 300 points during the battle phase. So my Spirit of Flames attacks with 2,500. Solar Flare Dragon attacks with 2,000. Solar Flare Dragon attacks with 2,000. Oh, I'm putting me down to 1,500. I guess it doesn't finish it. Oh well, I'll move to the end phase and then both of my Solar Flare Dragons activate to burn you for 500 each. Ooh, okay. So that'll be 1,000 damage, putting me at 500. Now end my turn. I draw. Banish a light and a dark monster from what? the graveyard. My old Vindictive Magician and Chaos Command Magician to special summon my Chaos Sorcerer to the field. And I'm going to go ahead and activate its effect. It lets me banish a monster on the field. But it can't attack this turn. So we'll banish Solar Flare Dragon. Goodbye, my Solar Flare. I'll activate Ikibio Drachmord on Spirit of Flames. So it can't attack, and at the end of the second turn, it'll be destroyed, and Ikibio Drachmord will return to my hand. I'll set one card face down on the field, and finally, I'll end my turn. Really? You think that's enough to survive? Yeah, we're gonna have to find out, won't we? Draw. I'll activate Nobleman of Extermination on your face down card. All right, I'm going to go ahead and respond with Phoenix Wing Windblast. What? I'll discard Night Assailant from my hand. Since I discarded Night Assailant, it also returns to my hand because when it goes from my hand to the graveyard, I can return a flip effect monster. So I'll go ahead and get Night Assailant back. I have no choice but to end my turn. All right, I draw. I'll banish my Gemini Elf to summon. What is happening? My Gigantes in attack mode it has 1,900 attack points. I'll set a card face down and end my turn. Draw for turn. You and left yourself. Stomach. You left yourself wide open. Because all I have to do is normal summon my Solar Flare Dragon and proceed to my end phase. Yeah, that's 500 damage, so I guess I'll lose. All right, game two then, Duelist. We'll set one monster face down and one spell or trap card phase down. Your move. I'll activate my Pot of Greed. Hmm, what does that do, Duelist? It lets me draw two cards from my deck. And one of the cards I drew, I'll pay a thousand life points for Delinquent Duo. Oh, brutal. So now we'll discard one random card from your hand, this one, and you get to discard the other. All right, you discarded my Insect Knight. Hmm. I'll also discard my old Vindictive Magician. Oh, I like seeing that go. Let's see. Next, I'll set a monster face down, one spell or trap, and end my turn. All right, I draw for turn. Also set another monster face down and end my turn. Draw for turn. I will flip summon my Masked Dragon. It is 1400 attack. 
Okay. And then I'll normal summon my element dragon. Also okay. Because of a fire monster on my side of the field, element dragon gains 500 attack. Okay, so 2,000 attack points. Mm-hmm. And I'll enter battle. Battle phase entered duelist. Mash dragon attack this monster. You attacked. Legendary Jujutsu Master. Mm. With 1800 defense, it means that you'll take 400 damage and your monster will be returned to the top of your deck. Is that any monster that battles? Any monster that battles it while it's in defense position. Mm. Well, so Not only be... that, but your Element Dragon has gone down to 1500 again. I'll have my Element Dragon attack your other face down. So you attacked. Mystic Tomato. When it's destroyed, as you know, I get to summon a dark with 1,500 or less attack from my deck in attack position. Let's get this one. My Sangin. To the field in attack position. I'll end my turn there. All right, I'll draw for my turn. Let's activate Pot of Greed. Do you know what the spell card does, Duelist? I think it lets your opponent draw two cards. I don't think so. Oh. I draw two cards from my deck. I'll tribute my Sangin in order to summon Jinzo to the field. In attack mode, Ooh, with 2400 awesome. attack points. In addition to that, Sangin's effect will activate and let me get a monster to my hand with 1500 or less attack points. My Apprentice Magician. Then I'll go ahead and enter the battle phase and have Jinzo attack your element dragon. It's got 2400 attacks, so that means we will take Four, 900. 900. Your move, duelist. Draw for turn. I wonder what cards you drew. Me too. Me too. Could it perhaps be a masked dragon? It would be very unfortunate. I'll set a monster face down and I'll end my turn. I'll draw. I will enter the battle phase. We're gonna have, I'll attack your face down monster with Jinzo. You hit, Mass Dragon. Big surprise. It will special summon a dragon type monster with 1500 or less attack. We'll get Element Dragon. Oh, him again. The last one didn't work. I'm surprised you're willing to do it again. You know what they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. In main phase two, I'll go ahead and set a monster face down in the field and I'll set a spell or trap card. Your move duelist. Draw for time. I will banish the mass dragon from my graveyard to special summon my spirit of flames. Oh, flaming. So now my element dragon will get its boost back. So it's 2,000 attack. That's fine, duelist. And then I'll normal summon my solar flare dragon. Element dragon attack jujitsu master. All right. So Jujutsu Master's effect will activate, which means your Element Dragon will return at the top of your deck. But Jujutsu Master will be destroyed. Now, Spirit of Flames attack the face down. You attacked Apprentice Magician. As you know, it's going to summon a level two spell cast from my deck in face down defense position. Well, I know it can't be your, uh, your what, that one thing. Old Vindictive. Old Vindictive. It'll be Magician of Faith instead, face down defense. And I'll have my Solar Flare Dragon attack your new face down. It's Magician of Faith. What Ooh, a surprise. So it's going to activate its flip effect and get back a spell card from my grave. The one spell card I need. My Pot of Greed. Was hand. the rhyme necessary? I'll tell you what else isn't necessary. When I ask what it does next turn. You can't, okay, you can't say you're going to ask next turn. Then. That's when it's gonna be played, Dolores. Wow. I'm gonna move to my end phase, and my Solar Flare Dragon's effect will activate. Well, it took 500 damage. Now I'll end my turn. Not a problem. I draw. Do you know what this spell card does, Dolores? I don't know what spell we're talking about. It's called Pot of Greed. It allows me to draw two cards from my deck. Who would have thought? I draw one and two. I'll enter the battle phase. So since you have another Pyro Monster, I can't attack Solar Flare Dragon, correct? It is safe. Interesting. Well, I'm going to use Jinzo and attack Spirit of Flames. All right, at 1,700. Which means you'll take 700 points of damage. In main phase two, I'll go ahead and set a monster face down on my side of the field and end my turn. Draw for turn. I will normal summon UFO Turtle. Not a problem. I'll enter battle. Battle in. UFO Turtle, attack Jinzo. 
Hmm, attacking Jinzo, huh? So that means you'll be taking 1,000 points of damage. And my UFO turtle is destroyed by battle. Activating its effect. Got it. It's a special summon a fire monster from my deck. Solar Flare Dragon. Yeah, oh, trying to set up a little bit of a lock into a list. I'll go move to my end phase, and both my Solar Flag Flare Dragons activate to burn you for 500 each. That's a thousand damage. Puts me at 6,500. And you, you know, you can't attack Solar Flare Dragon as long as the Pyro Monster on my side of the field. I'm well aware. I end my turn. I draw. Tribute my face down monster, the Spirit Reaper. Summon Armed Dragon, level five. <sighs> as you know, it has an ability to destroy a face up monster by discarding a monster with more attack points. Bring it on. So I'm going to use Armed Dragon level five's effect and discard my Chaos Command Magician which lets me destroy one of your solar flare dragons. You can pick which one goes if you like. <sighs> Goodbye, solar Whichever flare. Whichever is more important to you. On to the battle phase. Arm dragon level five is going to attack your solar flare dragon. That means 900 damage. Not only that, I'll attack for 2400 with Jinzo. And now I'll end my turn. Draw. I'll set a monster face down and end my turn. I'll draw for turn. Let's activate the Swords of Revealing Light. This will flip your monster face up and let me know exactly what I'm dealing with. Mask of Darkness? Do you have a trap card in I your graveyard have, to recover, Duelist? I don't even... You've had Jinzo up for so long. I didn't There's think no traps so. in the grave. Time to enter the battle phase. Armed Dragon attack Mask of Darkness. And now Jinzo attack for 2100 directly. At least 2400. 700 directly. Oh, I guess that works too. <laughs> to finish off my opponent. Say goodbye. The score is one to one. I'll set one monster and one spell or trap face down and end my turn. I'll draw for mine. I'll start with a familiar spell card. It's the Pot of Greed. In case you don't know what it does, it lets me draw two cards from my deck. I'll Not, draw one. I don't think that's what that does. And two. Hmm. Not a bad start. All right, next I'm going to go ahead and normal summon my insect knight in attack mode. Ooh, that's strong. He has 1,900 attack points. I'll enter the battle phase and attack with insect knight. You hit my mass dragon. Not a problem. It's destroyed and it activates effect. To Summoning summon a dragon from my deck. Another dragon monster. My element dragon. I tire of your dragonic strategies duelist. I'll go to my main phase two and set three cards face down on the field. I'll activate terraforming to mm. search for a field spell. I'm not so sure about that. Oh. How about I use my cursed seal of the forbidden spell? Actually, wait, no, I can't use that. I thought this was magic drain. I actually thought that was magic drain. I can't use it. I, don't, I literally don't have a spell to discard. So. All right, so I'm good. Yes, terraforming is fine. Duel. I'll search for my Molten Destruction. Hmm. A card you should be intimately familiar with by now. Unfortunately. I can't wait to see the back of that card. Well, first, you have to see its front when I activate it. But, you know, it does nothing for my element dragon. It's a light monster. But when I normal summon my Solar Flare Dragon... How about that be fine? Now my element dragon gains an additional 500, so it's 2,000 attack. Yes, yes, so we know. And I'll enter battle. Battle entered. Element Dragon attack Insect Knight. Hmm. I'm going to activate my Book of Moon in response to your attack. I'll target your Solar Flare Dragon and flip it face down. With Solar Flare Dragon face down, Element Dragon's attack points decrease back to 1500. They sure do. So unless you have something in damage calculation, you'll be getting destroyed. Goodbye. You'll take 400 points of damage. I'll end my turn. Could be, dude. I draw. All right, I'll enter the battle phase and attack you with Insect Knight. I'll activate Compose Wear Evacuation Device. Oh, to return my monster to the hand, huh? Interesting strategy. I'd, li I'd like to hold on to my monster for a while longer. All right, then. To main phase two we go. I'll set a monster face down in my turn. Draw for turn. I will flip summon my solar flare dragon. I'll just move to end phase and get my burn damage. 500. Oh, running scared, just taking the freebies. I activate my confiscation by paying 1,000. Let's have a look at what's in your hand. What have you been hiding from me, this game duelist? I see. Oh, lightning vortex, swords of concealing light, and molten destruction. How about let's take lightning vortex off the table? You sure you don't want to get rid of molten destruction? Oh, I don't think so, duelist. We don't need that. 
Lightning Vortex would be a deadly card and that would have allowed a comeback and we can't have those in this duel. I'll tribute my Spirit Reaper in order to summon Chaos Command Magician in attack mode. And it's got 2400 attack points, which is enough to swing over Solar Flare Dragon into the battle phase and attack. I'll take 400. That's gonna end my turn, duels. Draw for turn. I set a card face down, I'll end my turn. I'll draw. How about I normal summon my Insect Knight to the field in attack position? What a pain. Then I'll switch Chaos Command Magician to defense mode. Ah. And enter the battle phase. Reading the mirror for us. I'll attack you directly with Insect Knight for 1900. I'll take it. If you do have Mirror Force, I'm making sure that it's not worth it. Your move. Draw for turn. I'll activate my Swords of Concealing Light. They'll flip your monsters face down, and they can't change battle positions for the next two turns. All right, fine, Duelist. And I'll end my turn. I draw. While my current monsters may be under such a spell, my new monsters are not. I normal summon Gemini Elf. Gemini Elf attack directly for 1900. I'll take it. I'll activate my Nobleman of Extermination on this card. Ooh, it's Sakuretsu Armor. Mm. And I do in fact have other copies of it in my deck. Yeah, get that out of here. I don't need that. Which means they're all banished. And I all don't have three. any Sakuretsus in my deck. Oh, you're not running it, are you, Duelist? I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. Sakuretsu is a very powerful card. So I'll activate Giant True Nade. And oh, what a joy. all of our spells and traps to our hand. What a joy. I'll activate my Swords of Concealing Light, flipping Gemini Elf down. And I'll activate Molten Destruction. All right, I draw. I think I can use for now. I'll set a card face down and end my turn. Draw. I did this. I activate Pot of Greed. Mm, what does that spell card do to us? Let's me draw two cards. Okay, I just had to, you know, remind myself. Normal summon Mash Dragon. I'll have my Mash Dragon attack. Mash Dragon will attack your face down. You attacked and destroyed Gemini Elf. Are you happy, Duelist? I'll set one card face down and I'll end my turn. All right, I'll draw from that. I'll summon my Berserk Gorilla in attack mode. Oh, that's a monster. It has to attack, or wow. at least if it's in defense position, it gets destroyed. All right, into the battle phase. Berserk Gorilla is going to attack your Masked Dragon. I'll take 100 effective Masked Dragon. Right. It will special summon my Element Dragon from the deck. No surprises there. It's going to end my turn, Duelist. On this standby phase, Swords of Concealing Light is destroyed. Next, I'll normal summon my Solar Flare Dragon. And now my Element Dragon gains an additional 500 attack. Yes, yes, I'm aware. So I'll have my Solar Flare Dragon attack your face down. You attacked Chaos Command Magician. It has only 1,900 defense points. And then I'll have Element Dragon attack your Berserk Gorilla. All right, so we're both 2,000 attack points. Yes. Okay, so we're both destroyed. Now move to end phase, effective Solar Flare Dragon. 500 damage. All right, I'll activate my Pot of Greed. Mm. Let's me draw two more cards from my deck. I'll tribute Insect Knight to summon Jinzo to the field in ah, attack position. That guy. It's got 2400 attack, which means I can enter the battle phase and presumably safely attack Solar Flare Dragon. I'll take 400 deal 400 damage to you. We'll set one card face down and end my turn. Draw for turn. Do you have what it takes to defeat my Jinzo? Or will he put you six feet under right now? It will certainly be difficult, but I'm always up to the task. Ah, he says as he grabs his graveyard. I'll banish Mass Dragon from my graveyard to special summon my Spirit of Flame. Not a problem, that monster is not strong enough right now. He's not, you say. To deal with the Jinzo. Right now he's getting 500 attack. So he's at 22. But when I enter the battle phase, mm. he has 2400. All right, to it. Spirit of Flames attack Jinzo. It'll be destroyed, and that means that I'll take, actually, he gains, no, he's 25. 25? Yes, yeah, so Oh, be, yeah, wow, so I, will, I don't know why I thought it was 200. So I'll take 100 Spirit points Spirit stays! Damage. I knew that was gonna happen, guys. I'll use my monster reincarnation 
to mm. add Solar Flare Dragon back to my hand. We have to discard a card first, though, Duelist. Next, I will normal summon my Solar Flare Dragon. Not so fast. I'm going to activate my Trap Hole. Aww. That cannot be allowed Man. to stay at this phase of the game. <laughs> I'll end my turn. He has over a thousand, so he'll be destroyed. I'll draw one card. I'll set one monster face down and banish an Earth monster from my grave to special summon Gigantes. Let's banish Gemini Elf. I'll summon Gigantes in defense position. Mm. Your move, Duelist. Draw for turn. How many cards you got in the hand of yours? I have three cards currently in my hand. You mean one. I'm paying a thousand. Okay. I'll activate my Cursed Seal of the Forbidden Spell. Oh. I'm going to discard Hammer Shot from my hand to negate the Delinquent Duo. Oh, that wasn't... Okay. All right. You don't want to have to do it. Oh, you, you, know. really want, you really want those cards. Whatever's in there. Yeah, they're valuable. I'll enter Battle and have my Spirit of Flames attack Gigantes. Okay, are you sure you want to do that, Duelist? I don't know. Does it even affect it? I don't want when to... he's destroyed by battle, he'll destroy all the spells and trap cards in the field. I'm attacking the face down. Okay. <laughs> you attacked Apprentice Magician. As you know, Apprentice Magician's effect... Let me make sure of what spellcasters I even have in here in this game. Okay, I've got plenty. Let's me get a spellcaster in face down defense position. My spellcaster of choice will be. It'll be Old Vindictive Magician face down. I'll end my turn. All right, it all comes down to this hunter. I draw. I'll flip summon Old Vindictive Magician, which destroys your spirit of flame. Goodbye, spirit. And now I'll switch Gigantes to attack position. And it's time, Duelist. I enter the battle phase, and I'll attack your life points directly with Gigantes for 1900. Sakuretsu armor. Destroy it. Staying in the game, are we? Gigantes is destroyed. I'll activate my Swords of Revealing Light. Wow. You can't attack for three turns. Wow. Your move, Duelist. Draw. I'll banish this masked dragon from my graveyard to special summon Spirit of Flames. <sighs> He's back, isn't he? But that's all I can do, so I'm my turn. I draw a duelist. I banish a light and a dark monster from my graveyard. Chaos Command Magician and Spirit Reaper. In order to special summon the Chaos Sorcerer. As you know, its effect lets me banish a face-up monster on the field. So let's go ahead and banish your Spirit of Flames. Goodbye. That said, though, you're lucky because he can't attack the turn he uses that effect. We'll just enter the battle phase and have Old Vindictive Magician attack you for 450. I'll set one card face down. Your move. Draw for turn. In my next turn, Chaos Sorcerer will be able to destroy you for good. I activate Nobleman of Crossout, targeting your face down. My face down card was Knight Assailant. It'll be banished alongside my other copy of Night Assailant because Actually, it is a flip effect monster. I have a in here too. If that's your last move, then so be it. It is. I draw one card. And now let's end this duel. Chaos Sorcerer! I'm sorry, Master Mary! Attack his life points directly for 2300 and end this duel. <gasps> Just. Can you tell Master Merrick that I helped? I won't tell him a thing. Wow! I'll tell him I destroyed what? you! Wow, oh, fine. I'll fine. be taking Assault on GHQ, Blue Eyes Toon Doesn't Dragon, and Monster box. Reincarnation for myself. That's it for Rare Hunters. It has truly been a wild ride. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this series. Um, we had a lot of fun going through a lot of these retro packs. Uh, it was fun opening them, it was fun dueling. What was your favorite part? My favorite part had to be just opening up those retro booster packs and seeing these cards for the first time all over again. Your favorite card? My favorite card? Delinquent Duo. Yeah, I think for me, my favorite pull would have to be the Gino. So, um, yeah, I hopefully you guys enjoyed the series as much as we did. We really appreciate all of your likes, your comments, your shares, the super thanks in particular because... Oh, for sure. Buying retro packs can be a little expensive. You can check eBay. I want to be clear, by the way, we never actually had any no sponsors, like, sponsors like, you know, buying these or sending them for us. So, yeah, uh, I know that makes it kind of hard if you want to play this at home, but there are alternatives. You could always play online. And there's even the new Legendary Collection coming out for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Anniversary this year, right, Paul? Yeah, I think that drops next month. It's got the first 
sort of first six sets. I think yeah. they skip like it one or two. They skip one or two sets, but that's a good way if you want to get a little bit of that rare Hunter's action going, buy that product. Yeah, and um, as always, you know, want to plug, like the video, you know, subscribe to the channel, follow us on social media, all of that stuff. Um, and just because Rare Hunters is over does not mean the, the hunt really is. That's true. You know, we never know what we might do next. This is the end of the original sort of dual monsters era sets. Which and, is followed uh, by the GX era sets. Yeah, so the GX era sets start next. We're not exactly sure what we're going to do with it, but who knows? We might have to become... Students! Yeah. Game on. Slifer Slacker, something like that. Anyways, yeah, that's going to be it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Past, Past turn. turn. All right, guys, so these are all of the rare cards that I have gotten for Master Merrick over the course of the series. A lot of interesting picks. I think mine overall were not really as strong and playable as a lot of Alex cards, but I did get some really neat highlights. I'm very happy about the Jinzo, of course. It's actually reverse foil, as somebody pointed out in the comments. Dark Magician Girl was really huge. I think that that's like worth quite a lot of money, I actually found out in real life. And uh, there are just lots of neat little cards that came in handy. Swords of Revealing Light and, you know, those sorts of things. So yeah, I'm all in all very happy with this. I'll actually be adding a lot of these cards to my personal collection. So, uh, yeah. Check out all of my rare cards. These cards have served me very well throughout Rare Hunters. Notable stands out being um, Delinquent Duo, Man or Bug, uh, Black Luster Soldier, and recently Horus the Black Flame Dragon. These cards have been very, very good, especially my, uh, my super rares. Cards like Nobleman and Giant Trunade, these are staples in my deck. And I even got Lightning Vortex in this episode. It's just a shame I couldn't use it more. We'd like to thank everyone for watching the Rare Hunter series. And as a special thank you for making it all the way to the end, Master Merrick would like to present you guys with the Winged Dragon of Ra Kotobukiya statue. So we only have one of these, so only one person can win. And how you can enter is like, make sure you're subscribed, and tell us in the comments what is your favorite classic Yu-Gi-Oh! memory. That can be a card, a set, or an event. So go ahead, put that in the comments, and Watch out for scammers. You will be responded to by the official Team APS account. And uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Once again, thank you for watching Rare Hunters. And uh, the hunt never really ends.